Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Super 2. Okay, baby, we part 3 new video for this on um, Wednesday afternoon, y'all. Okay, I probably news, you know, I'm a gun reader to where this man was charged with, um, I said that we shooting happened back around July. Okay, the man with name was, um, McQuay, uh, McQuay Carwell. So, it's a dude that was, you know, arrested, you know, in the, um, shooting, you know, I said a little one, um, one, Tension dead, and I think another one injured. Okay, so double um shooting Montgomery over some of little one sixteen year old dead, another and one I say at the hospital. Now another teenager has been charged in the crime. It's just that it's a deposition filed against um Marquette, a twin Caldwell, nineteen years old, alleged that he shot the two teens during a drug robbery back around you know I said around July in the field um. I mean, around, I think, so I think around July 24th, I say all the area of um, Hilldale Drive and he, uh, the, uh, off of Hilldale Court area. So, so, so it's investigator say that Caldwell fairly wounded Ricky Ellis, who was the size of, of a car, as he's trying to get, uh, I say he's trying to sell drugs from him. Please say that he also shot the other 16-year-old multiple times in the same nine made him a pistol. However, the victims, you know, got survived the attack and um uh, it's just a no amount of I think of drugs and marijuana were damaged at the in attack. So he is, you know, in jail, you know, Booker T the Montgomery County um jail. So it says that it we on two counts of capital murder in the Alice Dove one county because the Alice was shot from outside the vehicle instead of the other because it happened doing type of robbery, you know, that occurred and um and so the car with it's on child with I think with the murder for allegedly uh um, shooting the other victim and um so so I think we have out in the bail and um uh, yeah really so when he was a nation to a uh, type of shooting, you know, I you know, I said back around March of last year, which you know, I think he tried with assault and you know, and should tell until we, that he shouldn't talk about vertical and um how he's in jail for the red dog man but man I feel like he's man I feel like he doing like time in jail for you know for murder so uh so he shot and killed two sixteen row um boys I mean, he shot you know two of them out there over top of a drug robbery that occurred but man I feel like he's doing like time for murder man he doing time behind bars you know for murder to where he shot and killed two Two um young men for real man, but I feel like you know they do nineteen years old shot two teens for real man and um but I feel like like you know if you do a type of drug robbery means that things can get down bad to where you know you can get robbed or shot man you know and I feel like they do on the screen he got himself caught by law man for doing like time so he doing like time for murder so he, he I I think got time uh try convicted for the crime. But I feel like that, you know, if you are a dude that selling drugs, you know, in the hood means that them things can happen to you, man. You can lose your life. And how he had, you know, so dope and how he trying to get him drugs from the, um, you know, you know, from the bowls. I sent the car with him until where things went around to where the, you know, I said two men were shot and killed. And, um, and so I think the other one, you know, had died. And so I, so I think the other one has, I guess, survived and, um, but... But I feel like dude, um, McQuay Carwell is doing time behind bars. You know, I said we did. I shot, shot, I think one of them teens to death, and how he shot another one. He, you know, has survived. And um, but I don't know. I feel like the whole idea was a mess, man. To where you know, the whole idea was was you know went wrong to where he shot and killed one of them, and the other one has survived. And um, man, I feel like he's in jail, man. Right now facing his charges, and how he had to suffer consequences of the actions, and um. But I feel like that, you know, if you can't do the the time, don't do the crime. So for sure, man. But you know, you know, for real, man, you know, if you do a crime like that, man, means that you is gonna do a lot of time for murder, man. So so hope we don't, you know, I don't know if I had to do some time in jail, man. So it's sad that he had killed both of them. So make sure I like coming in, try to peace. I'm out here to kill in peace.